Hi, I'm Dr Michael Carr-Gregg. I've been asked by Education Queensland to run a series of workshops on how parents and teachers can work together to boost the wellbeing and learning of young people. One of the topics that we're going to be talking about in this seminar series is positive psychology. Now, 20 years ago, if a young person had come to a psychologist, they might be kind of like minus 30, and we get them to zero. Now, with the principles of positive psychology, we can get them to 30 plus. Now, this is clearly very important for education, and we'll be talking about the implications for teaching and for parents. Researchers in the field of positive psychology have found that happiness leads to numerous successful work and relationship outcomes, including an increased likelihood of marriage and stronger social support, greater income, creativity, productivity and quality of work. Happy individuals were more likely to self-regulate and cope with adversities, have healthier immune function and live longer than less happy individuals. Moreover, happier people have been shown to be more cooperative, charitable, pro-social and other-centred compared to control participants. Clearly, the benefits to be derived from being in a positive state are significant and numerous. So enhancing well-being and alleviating mental illness is clearly an important part of what schools should be doing. So we'll be outlining eight key strategies for schools which will make a huge difference. Count your blessings. Write down once a week three or four things for which you are currently thankful from the mundane to the magnificent. Practice acts of kindness. Positive psychology research shows that if you take your elderly neighbour's garbage out, visit your grandparents, or even door knock for the salvos, it'll be incredibly beneficial to your well-being. Savour life's joys. Pay close attention to momentary pleasures and wonders. Focus on the smell of a rose or the beauty of a sunset. Take a mental photo to review in less happy times. Invest time and energy in family and friends. Strong personal relationships are the single biggest contributing factor. Get balance in your life. Develop strategies to cope with stress and hardship. Positive self-talk and religious beliefs can make a huge difference. Thank a mentor. If someone has helped you along the way, expressing gratitude to them in detail and in person can be greatly beneficial to both of you. Take care of your body. Sleep, exercise, stretching, smiling and laughing can all enhance your mood in the short term. Practiced regularly, they can help make life more satisfying. Practice acts of forgiveness. Letting go of anger and resentment is as easy as writing a letter to someone who's wronged you. And the good news is, you don't even have to send it. Essentially, young people will be happiest when they're thankful for what they do have, rather than what they don't, express gratitude formally to those who've helped them, and savour the smallest things.